I love that part right Ooh. there. Uh -huh. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another stay of this reaction. What's the, deal? What's the deal? What's going on? Miles and Russ back at it again. You know what I'm saying? I mean, after the way that he slid on that blast song, for sure. I'll I'll hold that. I'll hold you know, that. Hey, I'm more, about to make a make a rack. Got some more of that new heat for y'all today. We got the Toxic King for real, for real. <laughs> Future been getting that title off, bro. But when you really listen to music, there's no question who the real one is. Brent Fiaz. Brent fucking Fiaz. The boy, you know what I'm saying? Came back with it. He's on a roll too. Crazy roll. He's on a roll, man. The two that he dropped that I know y'all didn't download, but you should have. Fire. <laughs> gravity with Tyler. Fire. Yeah, Gravity. Ugh. Now we got this new track. Let me see. Hey, and did you see that he's about to be working with the Neptunes? Yes. Bro. Yeah, he's about to be working with the Neptunes. Hella. That's gonna just be. I think the album that he drops is gonna assert himself on a Frank Ocean level. I'm saying it right now. That's bold. I'm saying it right now. Uh, I'm. I'm not gonna hold that. I'm gonna take it a step down. But I think he's gonna as assert it, him as the best R&B act in the game. And when I say that, I mean I'm not saying competition-wise. I'm saying he's going to release an album as good as Shannon Orange. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that breathe. I'm just gonna Grammy, let that breathe. Grammy recognition, like his, I want. I think he might really drop his, not like his most definable piece. Cause what he is is, I think right now he's so unapologetically himself. Yeah. And it seems like the people he's working with are so like he's so free, you know. Yeah. Like, he's really working with who he wants to work with and like how he wants to make music. Yeah. And I like the energy. I 100% hope you're right. And I think him linking up with the Neptunes is what could make you know this next project to the quality of Channel Orange, you know? And I, I cause he, he's got the voice for it. 100%. And he can write, we can tell that he can write. It's the vibe, I think it's the energy, he's different. Yeah. He's, I think he's a little different, you know? Yeah. It stands out. What's but this new track called? Show You Off. I'm saying all this before we hear Show You Off, which is, you know, hopefully, hopefully it stays true to what I've been saying. Just setting know? the stage, yeah, hopefully this shit don't suck. Sure, <laughs> all right, we about to get straight into it. Feeling terrible how they treat you. Nobody understands all that you've been through. And you just want to get along. Such a unique one. Mm -hmm. You ain't in touch with your baby father. Oh. Damn. You don't want to get no day and it gets harder. You got your whole page and egg and say she'll get to I don't wanna keep you down This is gonna go somewhere. I'm really excited to see where he takes this. He's building right now, you know? I don't think it's gonna I hope it builds somewhere, but I don't know. Do you think it's gonna stay, live here? I think it might show Oh, I needed that bass. Ugh. Ugh, that note was crazy. Okay. <laughs> this motherfucker can sing. He can fucking sing. Like crazy. <laughs> The track is growing on me the more I listen. Yeah. yeah. The black and perfect. Say that. I don't wanna keep you down. Oh. Go against that toxic title, then. He don't wanna keep you down. Don't worry, go fly. <laughs> sounds like something I can listen to over and over and over again, honestly. The morning vibe, wake up, positivity. Yeah. I gotta listen more to what he's saying to make sure it's positivity. <laughs> I love that part right Ooh. there. Uh -huh. Pop 
sloppy drums. I fuck with it. Understated. This is like understated. I don't know why. You know the vibe it gives me weirdly enough? Huh. It's kind of like a R&B vampire weekend vibe. Oh, wow. Like, kind of like the new album. Oh, the, what, the Father's Ride, that yeah. one? Yeah. Interesting comparison. Like, I was gonna actually say The Weeknd. <laughs> this is all when you said Vampire Weekend. The Weeknd. Yeah. A little bit. With this, kind of these throwback drums. Kind of synth poppy. Dark, though. The Weeknd hits, though. This stone, this stone. The Weeknd, like, I'm saying, like, Weeknd, like, is, like, hard. It feels hard hitting. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit more... These light. Are, yeah, this lighter. is light. This yeah. is light. The weekend is like, oh. Very heavy. His music is very heavy. Not a bad thing or a good thing. Yeah. In my opinion. I think this was the intention. This is a nice song. I think Brent made a really nice song. This is a good single. I, I, I feel like it's a one-off. With these drums though, so this I, is like, this is driving. This is like moving. Like I wanna, I wanna just keep pushing forward on this. I feel like I'm exploring. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on a safari or something. This is definitely driving music. This, that was a good thing. This, this and the whip is gonna go crazy. Like really like driving. Man, like, fuck a whip. Five. I wanna be in a little in a little Jeep in a safari and listening to this. You know? I just see, looking at some giraffes. Going through the trees. Yeah. Okay, that was he. Brent. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely okay, rock with that Brent, some more. Show you off. Alright. I think that Brent stayed stayed true to what I was saying. I think he's still in that little bag, you know. I yeah. will say of the singles, you know. Off first listen, I think this is the least memorable, but I also think it might have the most potential to grow on me. Yeah, I, I buy that. Do you, you know, what do you think these singles are for? Do you think these are project singles? Do you think these are Lucy's? Mm -hmm. What do you think the intent is behind these? It's like, you know when Drake was dropping like tracks, like a nice for what, God's plan, yeah. stuff like that. But then he dropped but also like Diplomatic Immunity and like stuff, like, I think he's like, Throwing stuff out there, and I think maybe we might find one or two on a project that he drops this year. Yeah, or he might either that he might drop later in the year, or I think he might keep dropping like this and surprise us with a whole project. That's the energy I get. I feel like these are Lucy's freebies, fan engagement tracks. You know, just kind of giving giving his people music that he's making. But oh. I don't see these on a project, which isn't to talk to the strength of the song. It's just I don't see. The connection between gravity and this, or even gravity, sonically right. or thematically, you know. Not at all. I need gravity on my album, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gravity's crazy. And we'll have to see. I'm definitely excited. Uh, like you said, could be an insane album. Could be a classic album. It will. It will be. I'm positive about it. I think 2021 has a lot of surprises in store for people. A lot of surprises. And like. Brent having album of the year is the biggest. That's wrong. <laughs> I noticed. Isaiah Rashad album of the year. Silk Sonic. And come on now. Come on now. On that, that's my thing. for rocking with us. Like, share, subscribe. All comment, that shit. Do all those Johns. We'll all catch y'all next time. Peace. Yeah.